your mother have told you about bleaching the cup? Girl, sometimes, you know, back in the day, they said it was good to put like a little cap full, like a little bit and just drop it in the water. Good evening everyone, Luxland ATL here with my very first video and it wouldn't be me if I didn't talk about some self care. So let's get started and first things first, take a breather because this is all about me time and where you go to relax. So for me personally, that's extremely important just because with all of the stresses of the day with work and kids and family i'm an introvert by nature and i figured out even as an introvert that loves people i still need to take that me time for myself so this is what i do we're gonna call this my bath time cocktail because there are so many ingredients so just get ready sit back get a glass of wine so let's talk about what you do to relax at the end of the day um, and what's really important for me is just to make sure that I take that time out even if it's 20 minutes 25 minutes however long I have <laughs> to actually come upstairs close the door turn on some mood lighting which we'll talk about shortly and just breathe take it all in so this is what we're gonna do especially in the midst of COVID working from home just meant that it was a little bit of a blur in line for me because I'm so used to like leaving and going to work and coming home and saying hey home is my comfort zone home is where I reset but how can you reset when home is also work super hard for me so I was just like look we gotta have our areas our sections of the house where it's totally like a vibe it's zen so there's a lot of different factors that I think come into play with that I'm big on smell senses so five senses as you know we talked about when we were kids it was like sight smell sound speaking and taste we not tasting in a bath we're not speaking in the bath unless you know you want to talk to yourself this is all about you so Lynn's bath time cocktail will begin um so I'm also really into creating the ambiance we we've been doing that I would say I've been doing that me and my friends talk about it all the time since I was probably in my 20s and not really knew what ambiance was so ambiance for me is lighting it's flowers or something pretty whether it be my crystals it's sense of smell like smelling things that just make me relax whether that be lavender or my perfumes it's all about where my mind is allowing it allowing itself to go and so for me ambiance is all about all of those things so got some candles here i got my favorite candle of course and I also have some of these bath products that I'm going to show you today that all play a very big role in um, keeping me <laughs> working from home on a day to day and knowing how to separate, you know, hey, where does home life start and where does work life end? So I'd love to see your comments and let's talk about what you do to relax. So let's talk about self-care because we don't do enough of it. So I'm all about some self-care. So one of the main things that I love to do at the end of a long stressful day is actually run a amazing bath, which I call my bath cocktail. Put all of my essentials in there and just relax, whether that be with a book, a YouTube, um, whatever, it, whatever helps you actually take away um, whatever happened for the day. So, Self-care is extremely important, and I'm gonna start by showing you what I do. 
So I'm also a wife, a stepmom, I would call a bonus mom, um, to two teenagers, one in the house with us. And I absolutely have to close the door, turn on the mood lighting, which I'll go into some details and show you guys what that is. Um, but let's get into creating the ambiance. So first thing you need to do is set the mood. I'm all about creating some ambiance. And that could be lighting, which I'll absolutely go into. It could be candles. It could be aromatherapy. Um, it could be your floor, what you have around you. We have some orchids here. We have some crystals, because we know crystals are great for enhancing your mood. Um, just a little bit of everything. So I love a candle. I'm definitely a candle freak. Um, lighting, this is something actually new that we got. So actually this comes from Home Depot. You can actually purchase it, just install it right above your tub. Um, you have to be careful because they do have ones that are specifically made for over the shower. So whatever you have over the shower, you won't have over your tub because you need to make sure it's prepped for water. But this lighting is just basically a LED light that has mood enhanced lighting that you can actually control from your phone. Just walking around Home Depot, aka Lowe's, I think you can even find them at Walmart. Found a amazing HD lighting, which you can totally set the mood. So cheers. Cheers. This lighting is connected to an app on your phone. So you can go through and figure out what your favorites are where do you want to relax and so for me i love cool blues and purples because they make me feel like it's a total vibe and this was something that i saw at my infrared sauna which i go to shout out to sweat house in sandy springs um, every time i would go in they say hey what's your color what, what's your color how do we set your mood so i got my own light bulb was only 15 dollars, i think so let me show you some examples of how you can set the mood. So this one right now is on cool white. One of my favorites also is relax. So you can see that one is a little bit of a pastel. Then we have, let's go, should I show you romance? That one's a little dimmer. There's even fall. Then we also have Ocean, which is one of my favorites, it's blue. And then there's a deeper blue called Deep Dive. And they even go way more detailed, like there's jungle, there's forest. Let's see, here's a fun one, this is party. You know, make it a party in your bathroom if you want to. Um, candlelight is actually really pretty too. Um, but let's go to let's take it to ocean that's my favorite or should we go deep dive let's take a deep dive so deep dive this is the app it's called whiz lighting and first things first let's get our candle it's actually by byredo and this is called loose lips um, which the history of this candle is they say it's based on the scent of red lipstick and i always think red lipstick is extremely sexy um, but can you imagine like red lipstick in a candle? The history of this candle is it's based off the scent of Max Factor makeup. Um, so back in the day, I believe when makeup was heavily scented, 
there was an, actually a scent. So people always were talking about, hey, you know what? Sometimes makeup had this really perfumey scent um, that was almost like a, hmm, like a smoky. I could give you guys the notes. I'll link that below. But this candle is always sold out. It's really popular. Um, they have a lot of great scents. I think they're the perfume company that gave you like Mojave Ghost. Ball de Freak is one of my favorites, but that'll be in the next video. We'll talk about my perfume collection. Um, but definitely check this out if you can find it. I got this one on Farfetch. They always have it available. Anytime I go in the store and I see it, see anything by Viretto, I'm always looking for this candle, but it's really sexy. It's black. So we're gonna light the candle. Candle light, check. Glass of wine, check. Lighting, check. So now, let's actually get started. So first thing that's most important is setting the mood. So that's creating some ambiance. And that's whatever you like. Let's go with the five, lens, five senses, excuse me. So for me, that's lighting, that smell, that's taste. It's everything that helps you actually let go of the day. Always love to pour me a nice glass. So we got some some cab here. Hope you're having a glass with me. We won't go too crazy. Cheers. So I love some red wine. That's one of my favorite things to wind down with in the evening. Um, I am a Cabernet girl for the wine connoisseurs, we like to say Cobb. But um, Austin Hope's one of my favorites. I love Cabernets from Napa. Um, we visited Napa last year in the midst of a pandemic. And this was actually one I tried before that. So there's a lot of favorites that I have, but just to tell you the notes, if you aren't a red wine drinker, it's definitely something you have to acquire a taste for. It's not sweet at all, but it's not super dry. It has um, like dark fruit notes. So there's plums and cherries, a little bit of raspberries some chocolate. Then you get a little smoky notes, but you know, everyone tastes something different. And if you actually are ready to try some red, just let me know, that's gonna be another video. There's so many, they're all so different, but I would say some of my favorites come from Napa and this is just one. So all about setting a vibe, turning on that candle, pouring that glass of red wine. And also too, a funny story, I took my aunt, my aunt and my mom to a wine tasting recently and it was so funny because they tasted four different wines and my aunt still to this day was like, man, they all tasted the same. <laughs> so it's just like, really? Like you tasted a Cab, you tasted a Pinot Noir, you tasted a Zinfandel, you tasted a Port, which is super sweet. Cabs are not sweet, but if you're looking at the benefits of it for your self-care, it's good for your heart. So 
There you go. Also, let's get into this hygiene because I know some women are very scared when it comes to getting in a huge tub of water because we're also scared and we want to protect the, the lady part. So you want to make sure everything's good in the water. Giving a disclaimer out here, I'm not your OBGYN, but I can tell you personally, like I'm very, very particular about what I use. And so when we talk about these products, they're all organic, they're all, all natural. So you're not gonna get any dyes, any fake things, any reasons that you feel the need to, you know, get in the tub with your swimsuit bottoms like I used to, because I was so terrified of it. Um, I also love Honey Pot, that's something I use in my shower. So just make sure you pay attention to those ingredients, ladies, because that's most important. Every time me and my friends talk about baths, they're always like, hey, I just wanna make sure, hey, what I use is good for me because I have, you know, sensitive lady parts. But that's all because back in the day, there were certain products that were full of junk. Um, so we'll go into more detail with that. And then you can also can tell me what you use. I'm all about hearing some reviews about, hey, what things work well. These are pH balance, so they make sure, you know, your pH levels are up. Everything about balance is all about keeping those pH levels higher because that neutralizes things, keeps things with the good bacteria rather than going down to the bad. We can talk about that later. That's a whole different subject. I'm not a doctor nor a scientist, but you know, that's what I got. And then the last thing I like to choose either between a book. So right now I'm reading The Midnight Library, which is really good. I'm always into some books or you know, if you want, you could actually take some time out, pull out your iPad, if you have a bath tray, um, you know, whatever feeds your fancy. Got CBD and cacao in it. It's amazing. 
has these little petals, roses in there, and it smells like chocolate. So imagine chocolate and roses together, it's amazing. Um, but as I was talking to my mom, I was like, hey mom, this I got this really cute stone off Amazon. They use this Muslin pouch, and this is what helps record in here basically. Since I'm at the end of the bottle, I'm just going to go for it. Usually when it's full, I scoop it out. So this is perfect. Tie up the bag, drop it in. Back to my mom's story. My mom's old school from the south. Tell me how many of your mothers have told you about bleaching the tub. <laughs> I literally was like, what? She was like, yeah, girl, sometimes, you know, back in the day, they said it was good to put like a little cap full, like a little bit, and just drop it in the water. And I was like, what? Talk about toxic. Like, please explain to me why you're putting bleach in your water. Not all the time, she says, but it happens. And I was just like, that is ridiculous. So please tell me if your mothers have told you some ridiculous bath time rituals that they did back in the day that, you know, we got to convince them that that makes no sense. <laughs> and um, I'm scared for you. Even though I did look it up because I'm, I'm um, super anal and I've seen people talk about it's really good for like eczema and stuff. But my mom doesn't have no eczema, so what's that about? Also, I got two options of bath bombs. These are my favorite. Of course, y'all know Lush, cold favorite. These are some of my favorites, and it's actually really hard to get them now. I don't know if that's a supply chain issue during COVID, but I actually pick, I usually place an order um, curbside and go pick it up, or Soul Springs again has an amazing bath bomb. This one is Serenity. These are my two favorites. Like, literally, I go look for this at Sprouts all the time. This one is an amazing one. This one probably lasts the entire time you're in the tub. I'm not gonna use it today, but this one actually probably lasts you about 30 minutes. Today, we're gonna go with that. I think it's called Groovy Love Bath Bomb. And this one is really pretty because it has a lot of colors. So it totally adds to that C part of the five senses. Drop it in, watch the magnet work, which I love. So all these things play together really well for setting the ambiance and then also just taking some time away, taking care of yourself, breathing, and just relaxing and letting the day melt away as much as possible. So we all know how important that is, especially now, I would say it's more important. Um, so let's talk about it. My cocktail is still going. I love just to see, especially the lush ones, I love to see how they just change the color of the water. And like I said, don't worry about it, it's all organic. And hey, if you really feel like, hey, I'm still not as keen on getting in the water, what I used to do when I really wasn't sure about bath products being completely organic, I used to get in the bath with my swimsuit bottles on. So, you know, a little tidbit there. But I'd love to hear your comments on what you use, what do you use in your bath, what do you do at the end of the day to relax, let's talk about it. Subscribe and like, ladies, see you soon. Cheers to us and taking care of me because if your cup's empty, then what do you have to give, girl or guy? Cheers.
Good night.